Hello out there everyone, it's Tom with UCAN Fastening here today. Uh, we're going to show you the proper installation of one of the most common styles of mechanical expansion anchors called the wedge anchor. Wedge anchors get their name by the style of expansion that they create. They have an expansion clip at the bottom of the anchor and it creates force against the surrounding concrete. The way that we install this type of anchor is critically important. We want to make sure that when we're installing we have the nut flush with the top of the stud of the anchor. This is a common misconception. People will expose too much thread, damage the threads or will expose too much of the hex nut and will actually flare the nut making it extremely difficult to set the anchor. One of the critical components is to make sure that you drill a good quality pilot hole for your anchor. Any drill bit that has an ANSI designation is your guarantee that you're going to get close tolerance which is what we want with a mechanical expansion anchor. Once we're ready to fasten and our hole's been prepared, we put our fixture typically in place over the hole, install our wedge anchor by putting it into the hole. It will hang up on the hole because the clip is slightly larger and that's a good sign. Then with our mechanical hammer, we pound it in. Once the anchor has come flush against the fixture, we use a wrench, three to four complete revolutions of the nut and that clip will bear out into the concrete creating our bearing surface that anchor is fully set. This is the proper installation for a wedge anchor. A wedge anchor creates expansion against the concrete. This is not your first choice in applications where you're close to an edge because this anchor does exert force out in the concrete. 